Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So in this video, we are going to be talking about the treadle hammer kit that you can purchase over at the website, www.blacksmithingblanks.com. Be sure to check that link down in the description down below. I'm going to go over some of the details and some of the features of the treadle hammer kit and explain out uh, the thought process behind it and some of its engineering marvels. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. Okay, first things first, what do you get with one of our treadle hammer kits? What you get with our treadle hammer kits is all of this plasma cut stuff that you see here on the actual kit in order to make this an actual treadle hammer. What you don't get, however, is the uh, hammer and the place that you're going to be using it to beat upon. So this can be your own personal anvil, this can be an extra anvil, this could be a homemade anvil, this could be anything that a sledgehammer can strike against, uh, you know, to make bottom dies and whatnots for. You can make it this however you like. Also, this is a 12 pound sledgehammer head. Now you can put in eight pounders. This will work fine with tens. This will work fine with all the way up to about a 20 pound hammer head. Uh, this, this kit will function fine. Anything larger than that, and you will have to get an additional spring uh, in order to take and operate a much heavier hammer head. Let's talk about size real quick. This is a question that comes up quite often. The size of this whole piece sticks out from the wall no more than four feet. So uh, it's just a little over four foot away from the wall. That's including the anvil here. That's kind of poking out and protruding out here. And this can also be reduced quite a bit if you shortened up the hammer handle of your sledgehammer. Now I've chosen not to do that because I wanted as much mechanical advantage as I could get to really make it thump really hard. And so therefore I left the handle full length. That length of that handle is 36 inches. So theoretically you could have roughly a you know 38 you know 38 to 40 inch footprint here by probably well whatever that is wide which is about a hammerhead width wide uh, so it takes up almost zero space in the shop i know that's a big thing that i've gotten several comments on is like oh i wish i could do it but i work in such a small shop this is made specifically with a small guy's shop in mind, especially considering you can actually stow this up and out of the way when not in use, and then you can use your regular anvil. The whole thing gets mounted to a two by four. Now this is, I don't have a two by four stud wall in my shop, so this is just a mock-up two by four situation. Yours would obviously be probably a stud on the wall or something maybe a little bit better than what I have here, but everything is made and designed to attach to a singular dimensional lumber two by four stud. Not two inches by four inches, but you know what dimensional lumber is, which is like inch and seven eighths by three and seven eighths or something like that. So everything is designed to work with your standard box store lumber that you can get, nothing special there. I did install these straps here. This is not included in the kit just because mine was wobbling around a whole lot. I just had screws coming from the back side. What are some of the fe additional features about this treadle hammer? It will fit any size sledgehammer handle that you have. All you have to do is take and loosen up all of these bolts here, and then you can trade out your hammer uh, you know, for any type of hammer that you want, or depending on your handle style, you might even be able to flip the hammer head around and use a cross peen or the like there. It comes with adjustable linkages for the, both the treadle of the foot and for the stroke up here on the spring. That makes it super handy to get just the right balance on this. So this way it's nice and light like that. For those of you that do purchase my treadle hammer kit there will be a build video on this where i share additional thoughts about the engineering and everything that's went into this and how to put it together and those sort of things uh, for those of you who purchase the kit the foot treadle is just an additional piece of two by four this happens to be about six feet tall just a little under six foot tall um, and then i 
cut off whatever the additional was from an eight foot two by four, I cut it off and put it down here as the treadle. This way you can rotate this however which way you want, an anvil underneath it, and makes it as versatile as possible. Some things that are coming up, another question or a complaint that some of the more snobby smiths have out there about treadle hammers is that this is a swing arm treadle hammer so it always comes in at a tangent. So it's never going to hit square. And for those folks, I have designed this little beauty right back here. It is an adjustable uh, hinge point or fulcrum point. You can adjust it lower or adjust it higher for tooling so you can actually adjust your hammer stroke and hit nice and square on a piece. It also is very advantageous to make shorter tooling, but depending on how you want to set this up, if you know that you're going to be working a lot of tooling and you're not going to be spending a lot of time drawing stuff out with this piece of equipment, you can go ahead and just set the whole bracket up a lot higher and you have three stages of height to work anything from drifts to punches to bottom tools to you name it uh, underneath it and it will work out very well. So what makes this treadle hammer oh so special or different than a regular treadle hammer or an inline or anything like that? This is not an inline treadle hammer. It's not going to have a perfect stroke up and down. It is going to have a little bit of wobble to it. It's going to be more like having a striker by your side to take and strike some top tools for you and things like that. The big advantage here is if you look at my foot, my design has took an advantage of basically physics, if you will, and I have created a perfect balance setup to where it takes a very minimal effort. You can push this hammer head. That's a 12 pound hammer swinging, by the way. With just your own hand, just finger pressure right here. That's the main difference in my treadle hammer versus most of the treadle hammers that you see out there. Most of the treadle hammers, you have to take and work your hip joints out a heck of a lot um, and get that glute day and get them ham hammies going in order to actually get any effective forging done. This, you don't have to do that. Next question always comes up, should I answer this first? Cost, the cost for the whole kit and that is the plasma cut pieces, all the bolting hardware to put it together, the springs, the chains, um, anything like that, excluding the two by four that you have to mount it to, the hammer and your place to beat upon, all of that costs $500 US. Right now we do have free shipping if you use the coupon code TREADLESHIP. Uh, in the coupon thing, you can get it free shipping to anywhere in the United States of America. If you're international and you wanna buy this kit, uh, get with us through an email and ask for a shipping quote. So that way we can get you an accurate quote of what it be to your destination. Okay, so let's talk about what it takes to actually put the kit together. Are you gonna need a welder? No. Are, what are you going to need? You're going to need a socket set, a basic socket, socket set that any homeowner should have. Um, maybe some uh, just basic adjustable wrenches could do it just fine. If you got two adjustable wrenches, you're in business. You're gonna need a 3 8 inch drill bit to drill the wood for the holes, for the mounting holes, and you're also gonna need one 5 8 inch drill bit. I suggest paddle bits. Um, they're quick, they're effective, they're cheap. They can be had on the cheap. That is all that you will need to be able to assemble this kit. Yeah, it's that well fleshed out that it, it's a whole product that within, I would say in under an hour, probably half hour to 45 minutes, you could be up in forging with one of our kits. Let's answer one more question. Is this made by me? Yes, this is made and shipped by yours truly. I've got another guy working in my shop um, from once a week right now. His name's Thomas Goodymoot, great guy. Um, and he's been helping me out a ton with getting this type of stuff launched and being able to cut this stuff up and, and, and you know, get the quarter inch plate on the bed and things like that. And so, uh, you know, we work together, we work hard, we ship, 
out as fast as humanly possible and we have the quickest shipping in the biz and I, I make no bones about that. Test me on it. We have the quickest shipping in the business. Last question that I will, that I get a lot is Roy, will you be offering plans for this? Will you be offering PDF drawings, DXF files, so you can go have them cut somewhere else by yourself? And the answer to that is a resounding no. And the reason for that being, uh, before you take it out on me in the comment section there, the reason for that being is because this is a fully fleshed out product. I've spent a lot of time, money, and effort to bring the cost of all the materials down to create a viable product that is cheap, effective, and it's quick to set up for you in your shop. And it's not something where there's a bunch of guesswork. So this is a fully fleshed out product. Um, so there won't be designs or drawings at this stage or DXF files that I'll be producing. This is a full product. You wouldn't go to Chevy or Ford and ask for their patent drawings and things like that. So you could go have their truck made somewhere else. Same way, this is a fully figured out product that I plan on offering well into the future and continue to offer into the future. Okay, so the last thing I'd like to leave you with is the why. Why is this a valuable thing? Why should you per consider purchasing it and you know adding it to your tool arsenal in your shop? Other than to just give some random dude on the internet some cash, your hard earned cash. The reason why this treadle hammer is important is this is from R&D for the last five, six years of me doing this YouTube channel. Uh, what originally got me started was offering some designs and some drawings on my DaVinci cam hammers that I, that I post out there on the internet. They were the very first ones out there on YouTube. And I, I put that out there because I had, uh, I kind of had an insulting conversation with a few older Smiths that it basically told me that, that because I was poor, I mean, if I couldn't pay to play the game, well, oh well, right? And there was no option that was under like $5,000 for me to get a power hammer, a treadle hammer, or anything of the like. There wasn't any options out there for me, and I really needed it to continue my business and up my production game and things like that so I could support my family via what, I cho what I've been chosen to do in my career path, which is blacksmithing. And so I got, I'm not one to take a kick in the chops like that and let it go unanswered. So I said, I'll show you, right? And so that's what I started doing all of these different home built power hammers and treadle hammers and things like that and offering drawings and designs for in the past for, um, you know, and that's what kicked this whole thing off. What that has led to now that I have a CNC bed in the shop is that has led me to being able to produce a product that is well under a thousand dollars. Again, 500 bucks. And if you use the treadle ship coupon, you get free shipping with this thing as well. And so I'm, t I'm eating the cost of shipping it to you in the USA there. And so, you know, what else can't you like about that? You go try to find another treadle hammer, for $500, you're not going to find it. Can you build one out of scrap pieces and random junk that you have in your shop? Sure you can. Will it be cheaper than $500? Maybe. Depends on how well it works and whether it was worth your time and effort to put it together. But I wanted to offer a product out there that did not break the piggy bank, something that you didn't have to take out a second mortgage on your home in order to own. And that is the March. That's where I'm going with this. There is already a prototype, which already works. It's already fleshed out. I just need to get the cost of the equipment down so I can offer it still cheaper yet to you out there, my community. There is already a air assist that is going to be a drop-in option that after even after you've bought the treadle hammer if you buy it at this stage you will be able to drop just pin the thing in and go right to town that is the big plan i already have a working model it already works and functions correctly 
it's perfect in every way. And all I need to do is find a way of getting the cost down. And that's by me buying in bulk. So what's the purpose of buying a treadle hammer kit then? When you buy those treadle hammer kits, that funds the next stage in the R&D here at Christ Center Ironworks. And it helps me to continue to stay in business and hopefully for, for future generations to come to bring the overall cost of entering into powered equipment a lot easier. I've got several other designs and plans in my head around making, uh, making other versions of power hammers that are bolt together. Some of them are weld together uh, and you know they'll have different functionality to where you can just quickly assemble the kit yourself and go right to town. What a beautiful thing that is because you're gonna save yourself boatloads of money. You're not gonna to have to pay $10,000 or $5,000 or $4,000 for something that you, know, you could have put together yourself and hopefully I've made it easy enough for you to do that within you know a thousand bucks or so. So that is the goal. That's the big goal, right? That's my plan is to be able to do that. So know that with every purchase of one of these treadle hammer kits, every purchase of one of our blacksmithing blanks and things like that, that is what that is going towards. It helps feed my wife and kids, keep the shop running, fund the channel, but it is ultimately going towards that march and that's how I'm spending all my excess dime and time is on the R&D on developing more power equipment out there to help you out there, the blacksmithing community. So without me waffling on anymore, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like this content, hit that like button, subscribe if that's what you're into. Thank you to all the channel members who are constantly supporting this channel through your generous donations and helping us continue to achieve our goals for the future. Thank you so much for that. God bless each and every last one of you, and we will catch you on the next one.